very brilliant people. They have, a, they just have this antenna for knowing what's going to resonate with an audience too. Do you think that's something people can train? It's a really good question. Well, Tom York has it. Yeah. He, he knows and always has known, as well as being brilliant and, and having a lot of artistic integrity, he has this thing that I don't really have, which is really knowing what, what's going to work. Then. And he, it's like having a cultural antenna in. Mm. And, and a lot of the people, you know, the people who have been very successful commercially do have that. Noel Gallagher has it. Björk has it. Mm. it even though Björk is, it does pretty much does what she wants. She's also knows how, knows that it resonates or, or knows how to resonate with an audience. The question I find myself asking all the time is how much does the individual mind, the fundamental mindset of an artist play a role in that? If I start kind of make a deal with myself and I will figure out a way to take my music to my audiences and find my audiences, but I have to make sure I found my music first or built that sound, which I really believe in. I feel like so many artists just forget that first step in the first place. Well, that presupposes that one comes before the other. I see more of it as ah, a, as yeah. a, yeah, as a, as a, as, as a dynamic. So you might have some idea of who you are, but I think you need to bring the audience with you. And I think artists and audiences reflect each other. Oh, yeah. I think you need, I think they need each other. It's it's a complex system of interdependence. So and if and if one is forgotten about, it won't it won't work. I mean, I, I, but having said that, I don't think there's anything wrong with just playing music on your own in your in your own shed and no, not at all. writing what you want to. If you don't want to go it with the public, no, but, you didn't um, sound like you were saying. You do, that. Yeah, you need to find your audience and bring them with you in some way. How that is has changed a lot and and, and is changing a lot at the moment with all kinds of electronic processes and distributed people and distributed cultures and not multiple genres and multiple communities it, it's an extremely complex situation now what question what is a musical community is has a very complex answer thank you 